What's up? What's up? It's your boy AD all day. We in the spot. We in here. What's up? Mm-hmm. We back. We back. The people y'all love. <laughs> we love y'all too. Yes, we do. I know we haven't done this in a while. It had definitely been a while since we've done a pizza. We've done so many frozen pizzas, but look, we got Palomos, Primo Thin, a pizza that I did like Last so far. Time, that Palomos. This is like our third one trying. I like that. They always got some unique type of flavors. Mm-hmm. But let's show y'all what we doing. We doing the garden pizza today with green and red peppers, yellow onions, broccoli, and black olives. So you see how it look right there on the front. How many calories? Mm-hmm. 260 for a little slice. That's not bad. 260. One third. One third, that's big. It's a pretty thin pizza. Yeah, that's pretty big. Not for the whole piece of though. No, for one third of it though. Alright, that's what it said. Mm-hmm. Uh uh-huh, yeah. One third. Right yeah, that that's not bad then, right? But alright. It don't take that long to cook this up. We getting the oven and stuff done. So we'll holler at y'all in a little minute when y'all we got a little taste of one of the onions because the onions was all it was all clumped up in one spot. Look, broccoli. I broccoli put that broccoli out. back on that pizza. Put it right back. I like how the broccoli looks. Yeah, it looks so bright. I like the thinness of their pieces because their pieces be good and thin and they be having some nice te- toppings. And it tastes so fresh. Gonna see what this um, what this paste and this stuff tastes like. This sauce. Oh, you mm. dropped your broccoli. Ah, uh, you gonna show it. <laughs> I want my shot socks with daddy. <laughs> oh, see, look at those socks, fresh. That would be boring. I don't care. But I was like, why you have dirty socks? Like, look. You should be walking around in the dirt. <laughs> Working in the dirt. Take another bite. This is pretty good, though. The ingredients actually taste good. They're not bad. So that broccoli blending well? It look good. It look good. It's my first time ever really having a garden pizza. I know if that sauce, it matters to me that sauce and the cheese. If it go right with it, sure is good. Bad. Let me get the little black olive. Mm-hmm. I know y'all don't like them like that. No. That's the only thing I'm picking out. I'm not too picky at all this. I'm only picking that out. Okay. That's it. Hmm. It tastes pretty good. It, it tastes decently fresh too. Decently. Don't it be pretty fresh to be frozen pizza? Paul Moreno's, whatever, what's their name? Paul Moreno's. Mar- 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 they do a good job with their pizzas. Definitely something different. Every time I've ate their pizza, I've had really a different good. experience and it was good. And this is the same thing. A different experience and it was good. So I did y'all eight uh, out of ten. Because the appearance is not that bad. I actually like the toppings. And the taste was pretty good. You know I'm not the best fan of a vegetable tea pizza. Right, man. no meat, but they did good though. It's worth a try. I definitely tell you that. I bought it. I bought it because it was on sale. It was on mm-hmm. sale for four dollars. So I guess oh. people wasn't really buying it like that. Cause people normally normally you'll catch one of these for like five, yeah. six dollars. That's cause it's vegetable, huh? Right. People probably were overlooking this. So I was like, let me get it. And it turned out to be pretty good. So you get an eight out of ten. Like the video, comment, tell me if you try to, you know, garden pizza, vegetable pizza, let us know. And we'll holler at y'all later. Peace out. Hey, healthy day. Yeah. <laughs>